Hey guys, welcome to MK Bros and today we're going to be doing the match attack tournament at Totland and I'm wearing my Totland kit. Totland here and Totland jewels. The F2 is going to be there, I'm wearing my rascal clothing. And, and what are you most looking forward to? Team the F2. Because we always watch their videos. And make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we do a video. Let's get it! We are on our way, guys, to the station to get onto the train. We're just in the car right now. So excited to see the new Totland Stadium. Okay, guys, we're back and we're on the bus. Daniel, who that is, Daniel for my football team. He's going to be going to the match attack tournament with us. How do you feel to be seeing that Daniel? Like fine. Fine. Yeah, I feel excited. And how do you feel? Hmm, precious. Precious. Okay, so we're on our way, and I think this bus takes us there. This, this sun is bright. Okay, that's better. That is way better. Because then, you see me. Yeah, no, no, no. Or you don't allow to wear a child's kit. He's so crazy. Hayden has a Tottenham kit because he goes to Tottenham training. Okay, guys, put in the comments if you were there and then you might support us. Epic! 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 Stop. <laughs> this kid supports Man City and he's saying Tottenham's the best team in the world. And also, put in the comments who do you think is going to win know, it in the Champions League? Who do you think is going to get through to the final? Liverpool or Barcelona? And Ajax or Tottenham? I think Ajax is going to be Ajax v Liverpool. Ajax v Liverpool in the final. Right now, we are on our way. And last time, we were, it was at Chelsea. By like Chelsea. Now it's at Arsenal. It has to be at Arsenal. If, if it's at Fulham, then I'm gonna legit be so unhappy because it's gonna be our all Arsenal three rivals. And in the comments below, say if you have. Say if you support Tottenham, Fulham, or Chelsea or Arsenal. What is your favourite team out of all four of them rivals? Mine's Arsenal. Always, Arsenal. always, always say Tottenham. Yes. No. Too big. Too big. Too big. Can't be bigger than Arsenal's. What do you think, Sam? Too big. Too big. It looks great. Two seconds. Okay, guys, we are in the line right now. I'm at the top stadium. Bartagli, Filet Me, Kevin Trippier, Osler, Oh, 
Some serious energy, can I have some? <laughs> oh, I need some standing up. Maybe <laughs> tired. Just eat half of these. They are yours. Yes. Right, who am I doing first? Waiting for the F2. Look at the queue. We might not get to see him, Mace. Hey, we might not get to see the F2. Huh? We might not get to see him. Why? Because the queue's so long. Do you want to wait and try? You do. Them, and then we're going to get them on stage for a Q&A. Hey. But, I've got no questions. <laughs> so I need your questions. How long did it take Question, Billy. How many autographs have you signed today? Um, 2,462. <laughs> right now, before you came up, I asked the kids to write a few questions, okay? So none of these are mine before we start. They're all football related, they're all schools related, they're all YouTube related. First of all, how long have you guys been together, F2? So me and Jez have been doing freestyle since we were about 15 years old and we started the F2 eight years ago. Um, we started the F2 because we used to be freestylers but then we thought wouldn't it be better if we performed together in sync and that's how it started. Okay, one lad down here asked why F2, I assume F for freestyle, two because there's two of you. Do you know what? We never defined what F2 means. Um, I went into a meeting once and I said it could mean fantastic, it could mean football, it could mean phenomenal. And then they went, no, that's a P and H. P and H. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, I remember being the smallest in school, but the way I got respect was by doing skills. And it's a way of standing out. So that's kind of why I've done it. I inspired myself. When I first started, not many people had done freestyle at all. So I was one of the first ones into it. So keep your peace. Then what did that lead on to? What, what, are your, what are your first basic skills? So first skills were the rainbow flick, catching the ball on the back of my neck, um, then around the world, and then it evolved into doing performances. Um, the one thing I'll say to all of you guys, if you look at freestyle and you think it's too difficult, it's because you haven't practiced enough. Anything you want to succeed, it takes a lot of practice. And the more you practice, the easier things become. Absolutely. What's your favourite skill? Where did it start for you? I would say our best skill is actually creating content. There's a, there's a lot of people trying to create football content right now and it's something that we take a lot of pride in trying to be as good as we can. So I'd say that's, it's a skill, it's definitely a skill. I'm going to shoot down to one of the, one of the questions down the bottom. Are you amazed by the amount of subscribers? I mean, what is it, nine and a half million? Absolutely amazed. It's incredible. Um, when we first started doing tricks, there wasn't even YouTube, so it didn't exist. And um, to not make it as a footballer, not to go down that route, but to have a fan base and be able to influence kids all over the world is uh, an honour and a privilege, it really is. I mean, I've never thought we'd be in this position. When it's, how has he saw a song? Was it your idea to do YouTube? So basically, with YouTube, um, we evolved into it. So 
if you look at our career and a good message if you want to stay ahead in anything we do is to evolve right so we started off as individual freestylers then we formed the double act and we won the uk entertainment act of the year award and then we moved on to the next stage which, which was creating content for youtube and uh, yeah it just we just evolved into it we never planned to do it it just happened so how many followers did you you know can you remember the first video you put up and how many what how many views did it get i, I can remember we thought it was going to get like 12 million views and it was like it done it really poor, didn't it? But it, it takes a lot of hard work to make it as a YouTuber. You have to you have to graph for like two or three years non-stop before anyone really sees you and you get any traction. There you go guys, hard work YouTube, hard work freestyle. Spoke to Robbie Keane in Ireland, he said 400 touches a day, minimum with a football. That's what you want to be doing. Right, more questions from the kids. Football related, favourite player in the Premier League first of all? Ooh. Um, I like I like Eden Hazard, you know, right now. I like him. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Eden Hazard for now. Yeah. He's not bad, is he? Favourite player in the Premier League? Sonny. Sonny? Yeah. Favourite player in the world? Messi. Messi. Are you gonna go Messi or are you gonna Ronaldo? Messi. Messi. <laughs> what? Here's a good question. We've talked about hard work. How much do you train every day? Or do you train every day or every other day or? It depends on the day, like normal bank holiday, sunny Saturdays like this, might have a day off. <laughs> but no, when we was younger, we used to train relentlessly every day and then now, because it's, it's quite intense, our schedule, we do like to spend days with the family and, and slow it down when we can. But what I will say on that is even when we're filming, it's effectively that's training because it's repetition. The more you do something, the better you get. Okay. now. How long were you playing football before you decided to go freestyle? Because you, you both played to a decent level, didn't you? Are you still playing? No. Where were you playing before? I was at Arsenal, Billy was at Spurs, and then we stuck, We went into the freestyling and then we formed the F2. Okay, so you're an Arsenal fan? Yeah. He's an Arsenal fan? You're a Spurs fan? What are the questions? Yeah. All right. What are the questions? Are yeah. Spurs, I think one's going to be yes, one's going to be no. Are Spurs going to win the Champions League? Yeah. Definitely, yes. Same, same question to the Arsenal fan. Yes. <laughs> right, okay, let's find... This is the last question, then we're going to do... Stay exactly where you are, okay. The question is, if you were a match attacks card, what would be your attack rating what would be your defence rating? Jezza? We are. <laughs> what, what would you say was your ratings? My, my defence rating I think is 44, but I would give myself a solid 32. <laughs> Attack? Attack, give me about 99. 99, okay. Bearing in mind Harry Kane is 101. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, I wouldn't want to presume to say. I don't know. You say. What do you think? You've seen him play? Attack 100, defence probably about 54. 54, not bad. Right. What we want to do, we want to get a photo with the two guys here. You're going to get something that nobody else got, which is we're going to try and take a selfie and get as many, get every, we'll get everyone in. And if it takes more than one picture, and what I'm, where I'm going to go with this is we're going to post it on our F2 social media. Yes, so, we got saw the F2. And yeah. what happened? And I nudged him. And I nudged Billy. Who did I you nudge? Billy. Billy. Uh, I'm glad you got to meet him. I've been queuing for so long and not been able to oh, see him. Okay, so we got that. We got a bundle. So we got the so binder. Got we got a tin. And we got that. And we are about to go on our way back home. Man City won 1 0 against Tottenham. So if Arsenal beat Crystal Palace, then Arsenal go to third. Let's go. Hey, Mama, are we going to make our way back? What a.
boy. Well big, isn't it? New Tottenham store. 